What up, it's Melvin7 here, and apologies for the slightly later video. Uh, it was to let my other video be out for a few hours, if that makes sense, before I made this one. But anyhow, EA have released FGS Swaps 1. I love the concept, I hate the time frame. As usual, EA drops something so exciting, so innovative, particularly for EA, and yeah, they ruin it with a ridiculous time limit. So I'm sure you all know by now because the information's been there for a few hours, but yeah. Basically, if you link your EA and Twitch accounts, what used to happen is you had a chance to get packs or players uh, in drops, but the, the rarity was absurd. You'd be lucky if you got a 25K pack, you know, every five streams, something like that. But now what happens is if you watch for a minimum of 60 minutes, the first event being on the 29th of October, then you will get a swap token. Um, if you don't know how to link your Twitch accounts, I'll leave a link in the description, but I mean, it tells you there on the notice. And then if you go onto EA's Twitter, they've got it on there as well as the competitive esports Twitter as well. So yeah, the problem is the events that are listed, uh, the earliest that you can get the 100K pack, which is for five swap tokens, is January the 24th, I believe. So, you know, if we have a look here, we go on to the swaps, uh, tab and then you can see you can get a jumbo rare players pack for five tokens which is what you want ideally but then you have to wait another uh, couple of months either march the 24th again or april depending on when they finalize the final one to get another 100k pack and that's the maximum you can get until they do the second version of this foot swaps I also hope this isn't the only foot swaps that they do. I hope this is just the competitive one and they still have the ones that they had every month, as well as icon swaps, which are confirmed to be starting. Uh, there's leaks of maybe December, which I think is a little bit too late, to be honest. They should start in uh, November. But yeah, I love the concept. Just again, the time frame is a joke, man. I just, I don't understand. Well, I, I do understand it. It's like they, they dangle like a carrot in front of you and you manage to get one bite and then they pull it away and it's like, yeah, okay. So they're dangling something great, but you don't get the full whack of it if that makes any sense whatsoever. Anyhow, leagues max five, players from same league max four, players from same nation, minimum four, uh, five. Okay, right, fair enough. Uh, yep, I'm gonna end up using a bunch of rares because that's all I got in my club, as I say every single video that I make. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get this one done. Um, Connor Cody, you can go in. Uh, we'll use John Stones. I also haven't actually gone and sold all my other players like I said I would, which is just stupid. The, uh, the 75s and 77s, I doubt they're worth like anything now. Kamara was worth something, but he's untradeable now anyway, so don't really matter. Um, right, and now let us finish this. And I also know there is an objective, uh, which we'll go and check out, but I, I love objectives that give packs. Uh, you know, anyone who watches my videos will probably know that. Uh, okay, I'm going to remove the striker. I'm going to put in Zonzi there. Um, and then we'll finish it off with La Liga, hopefully, or Calcio A. No, it's Syria. They've actually got the, the rights back, don't they? Right, do we have any Spanish forwards? You're damn right we do. Uh, okay, we'll use Borjo Glacias, even though Morales goes for absolutely peanuts. Discard literally, and he's a phenomenal card, as is that Marcus Lorente, which I am trading with. Uh, the video on that will be up when I uh, decide to sell, so that should be that. There we go, so I'm trading in 11 rares for six rare goals. Not uh, efficient at all um, but again you can use non rares it's quite easy you follow the same sort of formula this one's a very very easy one and I like it uh, an untradeable rare electron pack I don't like untradeable rewards but at the end of the day the way they're doing this game most things are untradeable so it's still peanuts it's gonna set you back four or five K so it's still a win uh, particularly for EA you, you can't expect too much more uh, but anyhow we've got this no boundaries which uh, we'll look at what the requirements are because I haven't actually delved into that, but you need to win five matches on it. You get a two rare goal place pack for that. Score 12 goals and assist 10 goals. You get some XP. And then for doing everything in that, you get a 25K pack. I like stuff like that. Again, just keep it coming because uh, I'll end up completing everything anyway. Um, 
It's just what I like to do on FIFA. It's what entertains me. So the more that they bring out, the better. You know, if they bring out cards that you can win and play for and that sort of thing, like, why not? It's my sort of thing. So if we look at the no boundaries, leagues minimum five. Okay. Oh, no rules. It says no... Oh, that's the type of game mode. Right, I get you. Requirements minimum five leagues. Fair enough. So you have to hybridize a bit. I like that. I've got a team at the minute which uh, is almost five leagues anyway. So the card I really want to get, which I don't think, you know, it, people want Mbappe, Ronaldo, all that. I want that headliner, um, sorry, rule breakers, Marcus Llorente. Uh, he'll slot in very nicely. A little spoiler for the next uh, Let's Play. I have completed two SBCs, uh, player ones. I'm sure you can guess who, but we get a Champions League. No, this is a Connor ball, isn't it? Right, okay. So there could be a, an 85 in this. Um, pfft. It's probably not though, but yeah, that that's the the face card there. Wow, that is horrendous. That is horrendous. Not even major league silvers either. Oh my god, what is that? Well, I've just completely wasted that. Everything is untradeable as well. Oh no. Okay, Coyote isn't, but wow. Well, that was a waste of time for me. But uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on the uh, the way they've done the Twitch swaps or the FGS swaps as they're calling it? Again, I feel like the concept is a win. The time frame is a massive, massive L. But what do you think? Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.